Hi guys, this is Cryptic Cinematics, and today we'll be making a uh, quite nice uh, glowing bo bouquet effect. And um, after this tutorial, we're go going to continue with part three on how to make a YouTube background template. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is show you what the bouquet is actually going to look like. So it's going to look something like this. So we're going to make our own brush preset and we're going to use some Gaussian blur layer effects and a few other mode effects on the blending options and a lens flare. Stuff like that really. Also a gradient in the background. So yeah, let's get started. So you want to open up Adobe Photoshop and you want to click File, New. You can, depending on your screen resolution, that's what you want to type in for the width and the height. So mine is 1336 by 768. So just you, if you want to, you can copy me if you like. You can type that in. Click OK, and you want to make a new layer. Turn the background view off, and you want to get your polygon tool. If it's not already selected, click and drag on your shape tool. Drag to the polygon tool, and I'm using six size. Um, sides you can use five to make it a pentagon or you can use eight to make it an octagon but I'm gonna make it a hexagon so uh, just leave it black for now uh, drag it out and if you're using a hexagon like me make sure it's flat at the top and the bottom I do um, and you want to right click the layer and rasterize the layer you then want to make the fill 50 press center double click the layer and give it a stroke and give it a stroke of 5 pixels click OK and you want to go edit define brush preset name it you can name it whatever you want but if you want to copy me name it bokeh or maybe hexagon style Okay, I mean I've got my own presets saved, but I just want to show you how to make one. Anyway, click OK, delete the layer, and you now want to get on with your gradient. So I'm using this dark blue to light blue. You can copy me if you like. So the hex for this colour here is 406580, and the hex for this is 80CAFF. So once you've got that, you want to uh, drag from the bottom to the top and make sure you're on radio and the reverse is unchecked. So from the bottom to the, yeah, so from the bottom left hand corner to the top right hand corner will do me fine. And once you've done that, you want to make a new layer, get your brush tool, select your new brush and um, Go into oh yeah press X. Go into your brush options. If it isn't there already, click Window and then Brush. And with the brush tip shape options, make the spacing 100%. And um, go to Shape Dynamics. Put the size jitter all the way up to 100%. Minimum minimum diameter to 0%, and the angle jitter to 100%. You then want to put the leave the roundness roundness jitter at zero percent. Check the scattering. Make the scatter five hundred percent and the count one and the count jitter one hundred percent. Give it a transfer option. Make the opacity and the flow jitter one hundred percent as well. Go to tip shape options again and make the size three hundred. Uh, just minimize that and make sure it's on white so just press X to swap between colors so once you've done that uh, just drag along like that it does it quite well I have to say get some around here that's nice uh, make the blend mode overlay go filter blur Gaussian blur Make that blur 10 pixels, 
make a new layer, go into your brush options, make the size 200, minimize it, go along again, so you're just repeating this except there's a few things you have to do or verify as you move through yeah um so yeah just do the same make it overlay get filter blur gaussian blur but this time you want to make the radius 7.5 pixels whoops i put 7.4 there we'll do that again make it 7.5 and make a new layer get your brush options make it 100 uh go oh yeah go along maybe like that kind of upside down arc sort of shape fill it in make it look nice make it overlay again filter blur gaussian blur five uh, make a new layer make good brush uh, tip shape make it 65 minimize it and try to get like a kind of flow going here so you sort of make it like that and fill it in just keep doing it just remember if you have any problems with anything with this tutorial put a comment in the comments box underneath the video or contact me via email or any uh, social network like Facebook, Twitter. I'm gonna make a face another Facebook account as I I mean I make I mean Twitter account, both three. But yeah. Oh yeah, and you can send me a message, con comment my channel, stuff like that, yeah. Anyway, so once you've got that, make it overlay and right, go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, make it two point five now. Press enter, make a new layer. This is the last time we're gonna do this. So make it 60, and yeah, just get a nice blur. Just go over that when you're using at the moment. Looking kind of nice so far. So overlay, and this time instead of going filter blur, Gaussian blur, we're going to go sharpen, filter, sharpen, sharpen. And for this lay, you want to double click it give it an outer glow make that color white make the blend mode color dodge and you see you get this really nice glowing shine on it make it the size 10 press enter click double click the layer underneath that do the same get white make it color dodge this time leave it at 5 and for this one this layer, but you're going to do something different. You're going to give it an inner glow, and you're going to make that inner glow edge and make it white. Although you're going to do this, give it the same options. It doesn't really do much, but it's just a nice thing to make sure of. So do the same. Except make it center this time, so it's white. Make it color dodge. Click OK. Now for the last layer, you want to make it do the same, except you're going to give it a bit of a... Yeah, so first, give it the inner glow. If I'm going a bit too fast, pause the video at a point where um, you want to catch up. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and you want to give it a gradient overlay so it doesn't look too dull in colour. Or maybe a colour overlay. Oh, nice. 205. Uh, maybe 7.5. Yeah, it looks nice. Click OK, click OK. And once you're happy with that, you want to go to the top layer, make a new layer, press D, Alt Backspace, make the blend mode linear dodge or add, and go filter, render, lens flare, make it 105mm prime, put it in the top left corner here, click OK. Shift and click the background layer, right click, go on it, yeah, right click it, go merge layers, uh, control J to duplicate, make this uh, blend option overlay, make the background layer blur, radial blur, make it amount 100, the blur method zoom, and the quality best. Click OK. Control click the top layer, hold down control and press E. 
and go image adjustments brightness and contrast put the contrast up to 100% and put the brightness up to minus 1 or down to minus 100% and that's it so far but the last, absolute last thing we're going to do is go filter or maybe the set the penultimate thing motion blur give it a distance of 15 and an angle of 45 so now we're going to go image adjustments levels and we're going to kind of bring it this way a little maybe one yeah well, that looks okay I think it's 50 if you want and put the output levels up a little bit put this one down maybe make this 25 maybe make this 250 looks okay or 245 nah 250 235 that looks nice yeah click ok and there you have it there's your bouquet wallpaper um, I hope you learned something I mean you can do this how if you want um, another cool effect you can go control and I to invert it which is really cool but I I, just, I like blue so yeah that's what I do <laughs> another rhyme so yeah that's how you make a bouquet wallpaper um, hope you learned something from this tutorial remember to thumbs up comment and subscribe and I'll see you in part two on how to make a YouTube background template Bye.